exciting part of the show, at least for me. I genuinely enjoy this part the most, especially when people call in and they got something good to say. So the voicemail line, that's what time it is, man. Uh, We're going to open up the voicemails. We got some good ones here. But just in case you want to go ahead, comment on one of the voicemails, comment on something I may have said or something you heard later on in the episode. Go ahead. Shoot us a quick take. 219-413-9405. So let's get it started, man. Here's the first voicemail we have. Let's do it. Yes, Rocco Choa here. Rocco, what's I good? I just want to say that this year, there is no fucking way those pizza three PU'd. <laughs> and the Black Friday football this week, it's the LA Raiders. That's going to show them. Uh, oh. I think they're going to pull out an upset. And I think, unfortunately, as a Raider fan, that's going to be our last win of the season. But I think that loss and their strength of victory is not going to give the Chiefs that number one spot. And they're going to have to play some road games. And I think the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to freaking whoop their ass in the AFC Championship. Anyways, that's my prediction. Goodbye. Please put this on your podcast. I got you, Rocco. Anytime you call up here, I'm going to put it on the podcast. Don't even worry about that. Oh, but man, I, oh, dog, I, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. So anybody who's listening, to give some context, he was talking about the Raiders in the Chiefs game. This game, it happened Friday night. Friday night football was a new thing that they rolled out this season. Chiefs played the Raiders. He left his voicemail before the game, and, and oh, man, it's, it's, this is rough. This is rough because the Raiders didn't win this game. He mentioned no way the Chiefs win. This might be the last win of the season for the Raiders, but that did not happen. Chiefs ended up winning this game 19-17, to 17, and it came down to the wire. Just kind of a fluke flag call where they could have chose either option of the penalty, but they chose the penalty that would give the Chiefs the ball rather than continuing to give the Raiders another possession. So it's just another way the Chiefs ended up just having a fluke win. But, man, the, the Raiders here, it just it pretty much demonstrated why the Chiefs have a fair shot at three-peating. I know you said, Rocco, that you don't want them to three-peat. There's no way in hell they three-peat. But it demonstrated why the three-peat is possibly going to go in their favor because all of these close games that happen, the Chiefs end up winning. For those of you who don't know, the Chiefs have won 14 consecutive one-possession games. 14 of them. Do you know how many like consecutive games that is? That's that's far too many to win a one possession game. And every time it's going in the Chiefs' favor? No, that's just ridiculous. And, and statistics like that just, I, I mean, a lot of it is on the ref. A lot of it is, is on the Chiefs because they know how to win games. But damn it, man, that this is this is ridiculous. It's crazy. I was hoping for the Raiders to win this game, but it was just a change of plans, obviously, from what you had hoped for and a lot of other Raiders fans hoped for. But, man, Chiefs, they can't seem to lose at the end of a game when when it has to be decided, whether somebody's missing a field goal, whatever the case is. Like, and Raiders, this is a team who needed the win more than anybody. I mean, they lost nine of their last 10 games, eight straight losses. And, like, man, it, this... This was the, the game they could have won. They played the Buccaneers and the Falcons in the following weeks. I don't know if they'll win those games. Maybe because the Falcons have been so wishy-washy. I hate that they've been at bad. That's another story for another day. But, man, cha- oh, man, change of plans for the Raiders. They were supposed to win this game, or at least it was, it was supposed to have one last opportunity for a field goal kick, and, and they, they didn't even get the opportunity. It, it was just wild, man. And, and this is... Just another reason of why the Kansas City Chiefs are one of the most hated teams in the NFL. That's what it comes down to.